YouTube, how we doing? PPS here. Thursday edition of our YouTube free plays over here. Um, yeah, so we had passed the prop this week, NBA edition. Um, actually did pretty damn good. Um, monotone cashed in on his one and half unit plays. Unfortunately, the one play that I threw in late because of Giddy ended up missing, which is my anchor up, ended up moving this to a two unit play. Um, so another great day, three units again, um, made over there. Um, so yeah, I was very, very happy with that. Um, just kind of and we've been doing pretty well on those, and I'm, I'm excited for tomorrow's NFL edition of the show. Um, but today, I, I'm kind of staying away from the NFL game. Just There's just a lot of red flags there, um, a lot of unders that I kind of like, but it's very hard to bet the unders um, in these games because the lines are so low already. Um, so I'm just – I'm not going to give a free play out here. Um, none of those plays that I've looked at today, and I've looked at quite a few – um, I don't really find myself feeling great about any of them um, enough to be dropping them as a YouTube free play. Um, usually my YouTube free plays are some of my bigger bets on the night um, for in my VIP chat. These are some of my bigger ones. So want to make sure that we're cashing these at a very high clip. Um, we're sitting at over 60% over the past month. So I'm very, very happy about that. Um and yeah, let's get started. So our first one's going to be a one unit play in the NBA. And my second one will be a 1.5 unit in college basketball. Um, so yeah, we have Toronto versus the Bucks, And we're going to roll with Giannis over 11 and a half rebounds. Minus 110, um, one unit play on this. This is a fan duel line here. Um, Giannis is um, having another great season. 18.7 rebounding percentage, rebound total rebounding rate is what they call it um, in the stat world. Um, but yeah, this is a great spread. Only four points. Bucks are coming off of a thriller last night against Charlotte. So that's why it's only a one unit play. But the numbers back me up on this one. Um, if this was a game where they didn't play um, an overtime thriller type of game last night, um, I think this would be like minus 160 or 12 and a half. Um, but yeah, with the four point spread, we're seeing 11 of 21 games. Giannis has hit this number um, on the season. Last season in the three games versus the Raptors, he had 27 points, 13 rebounds, eight assists average. And he was playing 37 minutes in those games because um, usually these games are pretty competitive. Um, even though the Raptors aren't great, uh, they do find a way to compete in every single game and really, really don't get blown out very often. So, um, And that's what we really need here because I feel like if, yeah, if this game gets out of hand either way, even like 15 to 18 points, I see us kind of pulling the reins back on Giannis. But I do really like this spot, especially because Boogie Cousins was ruled out. Um, I feel like that would, this would be a game to ease him in, get to get him like 12 to 15 minutes. Um, but he is out officially. Um, I did see that a couple minutes ago. So that helps as well. Giannis's double double line is minus 300 on most books, if not worse. So obviously they're expecting him to get to the 10 rebound mark um, fairly easy. Um, obviously the 10 points aren't, aren't very hard for Giannis being as he has the third highest usage in the NBA today. So going into the back to back portion of this. OK, so back to back games, Giannis has had three of them this year uh, and he has hit this number in two of three of those back to back games. Two of those games, he played 33 plus minutes. One game that they lost to the Jazz by 15, and he only played 30 minutes. He had 20 boards, 15 boards, and then the seven boards in the Jazz game. So he does get his run on the second end of the back to back. Luckily, those two games that he did get a lot of run in, the games were close. So if we keep this game close, I very, very, very much like Giannis to come through on this number. Um, and cash us another ticket here in the NBA. So that's going to be a one unit play. Like I said, the only reason it's not a little bit higher is for um, the few reasons that I did um, come out here with about the um, back to back and or Toronto um, spot here. So beautiful. Let's get to our 1.5 unit play college basketball, a smaller slate today, um, but I'm going to a smaller school, but this team has been a cash cow for me. I love their overs. I love their team totals. I love the way they play basketball. Um, Eastern Washington, they are playing Southern Utah today over 155. Okay, Eastern Washington is 33rd in the country in tempo, and they're actually going to be pushing Southern Utah up four possessions um, today, which is absolutely massive. Um, always top 
50 every single year in pace. Some some years they're top 10. These guys love to run up and down the floor. Um, and I, I just love backing this team. Their offense is fantastic. Um, Southern Utah, in their own right, has been pretty good. They've scored 76 points in four of their six games this season. Um, and Eastern Washington has cashed this number in four of six as well. Eastern Washington, they're a run-and-gun team. Their defense is not great. They're ranked 252 in the country in adjusted defense, while Southern Utah ranks 157. So both teams are better offensively than they are defensively, and we're getting a great pace-up spot for a Southern Utah team that can score the ball pretty effectively. Both teams have four guys who score in double figures. I think that's absolutely massive in a game like this, where with this pace, you're going to need other guys to take shots. It's not just going to be a one-man show. Um, two guys for Eastern Washington are 16 plus point scores and, um, Southern Utah does have four guys who score in double figures here, but they do have a guy, um, last name is Knight. I've seen him play a few times, 19 points a game this season. Um, this is going to be a fun run and gun type of basketball game. And I really, really like this total. I was expecting this around 160. I think both teams are able to get into the eighties, the team total for Eastern Washington, um, did catch my eye a little bit, um, but I think that we 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 have a great spot here um, to just kind of go with both because I think that um, we're going to see a lot of points scored here and a lot of possessions to get it rolling. Um, Eastern Washington team total, I'm just checking right now, is about 75. I do like that, but I think I would much prefer this game to be um, a full game total here um, at that over 155. Love the spot. Love the game. Um, and I, I'm just liking this um, two-game slate here. It's weird going up on a Thursday and not having NFL, but um, I will be riding quite a few tomorrow for past the prop. So kind of nice to get my head cleared out before we get rolling into this player props of week 13 already. I'm very excited um, for tomorrow um, to get that rolling. And, yeah, two plays tonight, two basketball plays. Again, Eastern Washington over 155, uh, minus 115, 1.5 unit. And Giannis on 10 to the Kumpo over 11 and a half rebounds, uh, minus 110. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, if you're getting anything out of this content, if you're um, tailing on any of these, drop a like for me. It helps me out a ton. Um, we're going pretty fast, hoping to hit 600 by the end of today. Um, and, yeah, just slowly but surely growing the community. Um, and it is fantastic. Again, if you want all my picks, um, shoot me a DM on Twitter or go through the Patreon. Um, it's it's a very nice way to support me. Um, and you also get every single thing I bet. My soccer stuff, what I have rolling right now. Um, UFC for the weekend. It's going to be a fun time, guys. So thank you very much, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow for Pass the Prop. Um, very excited for that. So thank you so much. Um, we will